going on guys welcome back to another episode i don't know how good y'all can see me but y'all can hear me talking so that's the most important thing but we're out here it is dark right now and we're going rabbit hunting um i'm trying to get cameron to shine the light on me but she is not succeeding but we are going out we got shotguns today so we're gonna go out there we're gonna drive the ranger around we're gonna just turn the big light on here i'll get that light turned on where i can't even see the ranger cameron turn on the light here i'll turn that light on real quick and then we'll be able to Y'all will be able to see me. Where's the key at? Turn the light on. There we go. Okay, so. Okay, now we're in the light. Er, that was, okay, there. So, uh, we have a big field out here. It's New Year's Eve right now, so we aren't shooting fireworks because it's halfway raining. Um, you ain't got to shine the light no more, Cameron. But we got a 20 gauge right here. I don't know which one we're going to use, but yeah, it's halfway raining. We'll probably use my 20 gauge, I guess, or the 410. I don't know which one, but we got if we use want to we can use 410 right here or we got a 20 gauge that we could use but i don't know which one we're going to use but we'll probably just go out there in the ranger and if we see one we'll get out and try to put a stock on it if you want to call it that but we're going to get out there i don't know who's going to be shooting first it's either going to be me or case and we may just take two guns i don't know but anyways we're going to get out there and hopefully we can get us a couple of rabbits Another one or something. So it's the next day. The next, well, I guess you could call it the next evening, next night, whatever you want to call it, but it is dark. Uh, we're still going rabbit hunting. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be the intro because we didn't kill anything last night, uh, but I don't know if it's going to be the intro or the just the middle part, but we got the 410. We got the lights. We're gonna walk out there. Last time we had the ranger, I think we scared them all. But we're going rabbit hunting. We're gonna go out there, just walk around, shine our lights at them. And hopefully we can see some eyes glowing out there. But it's pretty chill, chilly. Uh, ch chilly. Can you see my breath? <sighs> yeah, you can see my breath. But it's probably about 40, 48, 47, something like that. But we're gonna shine around. Uh, my dad's coming with us. Is he here yet? Okay, he's coming. But we're going to go out here. We got the whole pasture. We can always go with the pellet gun in the morning if we wanted to, right? Yeah. If we have time. But uh, we're going to hope to get some today. We may do a catch and cook. Probably do a catch and cook because this probably won't be a very long video. So uh, we're going to, if we get one, we'll see how it tastes. Do you think it'll taste good or no? Yeah. Yes. Okay, y'all. Y'all think it'll taste good? Okay, I think it'll taste good. Probably fried up or in the crock pot or something like that. But we're going to, hopefully we can get a couple, at least one and show y'all how it tastes. But we got one pasture, two pasture, three pasture, and then a garden. So I'm betting the garden's gonna be our best spot, but we're gonna get out there and hopefully we can get us a rabbit. Let's get closer and turn the red light on. Turn the light. Maybe you went back on the other side. Oh, he's right there. I see him. He's right there. 
Are you ready, Kayla? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. Can you see anything? Yeah, she has to wrap the thing around him. Oh, I oh, see him. Okay. Hold, 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 hold. Aim right back towards the house. He's circle to the left. He's no more. Dang, okay. that was loud. My head's ringing. Yeah, you shouldn't have been. Should have got behind. First rabbit. It's been a while since I've killed a rabbit. Here, Casey, your next shot. Do we get that on video? Yeah, you got it on video. You got it on video, right? Yeah. Cotton. What would? What do you call these? Cotton tails? Yeah. Here, Casey. Shot him like right there. Yeah. He was just sitting there. He was right out in the middle of the pasture too. Me a lot. Here, you can have this lot. He was like right out in the middle of the pasture. Just sitting there. I saw him and then we, that was funny. We saw him and then we all just turned our lights off. And <laughs> okay, but first rabbit, down. Hey, who's got shells? I've got shells. Here you go, here, here's two. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a. <sighs> so the 410 got it done. Got one rabbit. We're definitely gonna eat this guy. Skin him up, eat him. But Casey is mixed up. There's for sure one over there that we saw, right? So we'll start heading that way and hopefully I'll pop this head out again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so hopefully um, we can get another one. We are approaching the second rabbit. <clears throat> My dad's got the red light. Casey's shooting right there. I don't know how much y'all can see it. But we got the one right here. I probably can't see this. He was sitting right over there somewhere. He was right to the left of that doghouse. Was right to the left. But I don't see him there. Yeah, he went in the bushes right there. I thought that was one, but it's not. May have to circle around over here and go back. Wait, is that one right there? No, there's like something to the right of it. No, it's not. It's not even on a move. I know, it's a circle around over here. Where? See the eye on mine. Where? Orange eye, right there. Right in front of us? Right in front of us. I don't see it. He might be on the other side of the fence and you can just hop over the fence and get him, you know? Just like race on the fence or something. We for sure got one. Which is enough, but it'd be nice to have a couple more or something. He was right here by this dog house. By the bear. Wall. He probably is in the garden. Right here. Right. Oh, I thought that was him. What is that? The stomp down. Oh. Let's look out here. Dang, there's a bunch of briars right here. He's probably right under us right now. Hey, look, it's a little briar rabbit in the briar bush. That's not one. Can't see very far. We'll walk around there and see if we can see him. We made it back out to the house. We got the guy right here. We got the rabbit slash squirrel skinner. We're gonna skin him all up. Then we will see you tomorrow with the finished product. And we'll see how this guy tastes. Alright okay, guys, so we made it back to the house. Kaylee's here with me. Kason has left, but we got our rabbit right here. He's all skinned up. He's got some meat hanging off him, but we're cutting off the back legs right here and maybe the front legs and we're gonna fry them up. We got some our mixture here 
it's special flour and salt and pepper. But we got the fillet knife. We're gonna cut this the best that we can right here. Just try to cut this off. We've already got the grease going. We're gonna fry it, by the way. Uh, we're just gonna cut this. We're gonna have to cut it right through the bone. Uh, this is tough. Here's that. That grease is going up. Right? Um. Turn it, yeah. yeah. Turn it up a little bit, so we'll it'll be ready by the time I'm done. Okay, so the bone is gonna be in. See, there's gonna be BB right there. Pick it up. See, look, there's a BB right there. Oh, it fell. But we got the first leg, so we're just gonna let this right here. Do not eat that BB. That'd be bad. Now we're gonna cut off the second leg right here. Same scenario. Hopefully, it won't be as tough cutting through the bone and stuff. But it's just an outdoor edge filet knife that I got in my little wild pack thing for Christmas. That may be tough to cut through. We may have to just break it or something. There we go. Not yet. Maybe I should have done that first time. Okay, there we go. There's another BB right there. So, uh, I'm still cutting through something. There we go. Okay. Search for BBs. I don't see any. I think we broke the back this part of the leg back here. But mm -hmm. we're gonna get this guy all floured up and put in the fryer frying pan. We'll show y'all that when we start doing that. Oh yeah, so we just got everything cut up. We got our grease going back here. Maybe a little too hot now, but we got the back leg, the back leg, the two main parts. We got some back strap tenderloin and all that. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to cook that, but we got the front legs, the other front legs. Yeah, our grease we may need to turn our grease down real quick. Just to cool it off until we're ready. But we got our mixture right here that we're going to put these in. We got a plate that we're going to put them in. But we did find a couple BBs and stuff. Like, there's a bone out right there. We'll have to try to miss that. But get this doused up and this stuff. Cover it. Good. Right there. And then we're going to throw it in the grease. We're going to get all these floured up. Like, there's the... Just shake it off like that. Make sure there's no just extra extra grease. Throw it on the... In there. Then we'll... Throw this one in there. This one may be a little too big, but we're going to do the same with all these, and then we'll show y'all show y'all the greasing part. Okay. We're going to stick these guys in the fryer. We're going to do the little back strap things first, or at least try to. They shouldn't take long to cook. Oh, yeah. That's hot. Uh, get one more. Get the stuff off the front, just on the sides, all that good stuff. Put that in there. Then we'll put the, the front legs in there. And then we'll do the back legs by themselves. So we'll give those a while to cook and see how they come out. Hopefully they'll come out good. And then we'll do the back legs. Those are probably going to be the best part. Okay, right, guys. So we just put the back legs in here. Right here. Um, we got the front legs right here. We got the back strap and all the tenderloins or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we're going to wait these out. Hopefully they'll turn out nice and golden and crispy right there. That part hasn't even been cooked yet. There we go. Uh, that part did not work. But we're going to wait, and hopefully these will turn out good. Hopefully I don't have any hairs on them. I don't see any. Oh, there's one. This could turn out like a bluegill catch and cook with scales and bones. We'll just have to eat around the bones this time. That one might can go in a little longer. I don't know. It's probably going to taste like chicken. Or the same as squirrel. We got some squirrel from the other day that we may cook up. Probably not in the video or nothing like that. But we're going to wait, and hopefully these will turn out pretty good. Okay, so we just took the smaller parts out. We're taking the front legs out right now. Turn this off real quick so y'all can actually kind of hear me. Um, so we're taking the front legs out right now. Just letting them drip dry on this paper towel. There's a hair right there. Oh god. <laughs> this this might be like the bluegill catching cook. We're gonna put the front back legs in. The main part. They may be we may have needed more grease. There's probably a bunch of hairs on those. But we're gonna let those cook. Like here's some hair right there. Uh this could be like the bluegill catching cook. Okay, so we got everything fried up. We got the small one, the back strap, and all that. And then we got the big one, the main event right here. We got some hot sauce and some ketchup, the main condiments. So, just a little bit of back strap. I'm going to try it in the hot sauce first. I'm going for the ketchup. You have a little sister sauce or however you say it. Good. Ketchup. I think the ketchup is better. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna try a little bit of the front leg part. Try it in a little bit of ketchup. 
Mm-hmm. It tastes like chicken. No. This is gonna be good. This is full on chicken thigh. Like, we'll try it in some hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. oh, try that. Oh, it's still hot. So, overall, what's your rating? One to ten of the rabbit. Compared to chicken. Um, better or worse than chicken, first of all? Chicken's better. Yeah. Chicken's better. Okay, now rate it from one to ten. I'll give it an eight. Eight? I was going to say six or seven, but that's pretty good. For a wild rabbit, at least. Like, you can buy rabbits and eat them. And they may taste different, I don't know. But, that's pretty good. But, just put it in some flour, salt and pepper, throw it in the frying pan, and then you're good to go. Catch up. That's all you need. But, as always, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Maybe this time, now y'all can go kill y'all a rabbit and y'all know how to eat it. Stick it in your mouth and chew. Swallow. Um, but thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.